And I'm rejoined by Middle East expert Dr. Waleed Ferris. Strong words from the Prime Minister. Do you agree with the assessment? Look, not just um, I do agree with the general assessment, but it's not just his assessment. He is probably the only head of state in the region, and he can do it, to say it in public. Guess what? There are many so, countries who have the same problem with Iran. We're talking about Saudi Arabia, now surrounded uh, from the north by pro-Iranian militias in Iraq, with borders with Saudi Arabia, from the east with pressure on Bahrain and eastern era, Saudi Arabia. And over the past few weeks, pro-Iranian militias in Yemen have been seizing the capital. Saudi Arabia is surrounded, Bahrain is surrounded, uh, Hezbollah is intervening in Syria. So it's not just about Israel, it's about the whole region, as Mr. Netanyahu has said. A deal with the Iranian regime without any, a change, a strategic change in Iranian behavior is an endorsement of what they're doing, as simple as that. Well, Israel under a lot of pressure these days, not only from foes, but from longtime allies as well. Take a listen to what Vice President Joe Biden had to say recently, and then I want to get your reaction, Dr. Ferris. Now, Ron, you better damn well report to Bibi that we're still buddies, and I'm, you know, <laughs> you got it, right? I signed a picture for Bibi a long time ago. I have a bad habit of, no one ever doubts I mean what I say. Sometimes I say all that I mean, though. And, um, and uh, I signed a picture a long time for Bibi. He's been a friend for over 30 years. I said, BB, I don't agree with the damn thing you say, but I love you. Well, a lot of laughter in the crowd, but Dr. Ferris, Joe Biden saying, I don't agree with the thing that you say. How is that comment playing in the region? Well, look, every time there is a difference or contradiction or any tension, uh, or even it's, um, you know, like a U.S. official uh, railing the Israelis, obviously this is not going to uh, lesser lessen the relationship between the two countries, but this is going to send a message to the Iranians, to Hezbollah, to Assad, to the jihadists, that there is a problem between the U.S. and Israel. And when that happens, you know, the, the jihadists and the anti-American will, will be emboldened to attack more the United States and Israel separately, thinking that they are not allies anymore or less allies than before. Now to a neighboring country, Egypt, where a jihadist group pledged allegiance to ISIS. Are you concerned the ISIS message is spreading to other countries in the region? Absolutely. We, you know, since the summer, we have been warning and briefing and engaging with the members and staffers in, in Congress and, of course, uh, the international community, uh, you know, predicting or projecting that ISIS, because of the wins they're doing on the ground, the difference between ISIS and al-Qaeda is that al-Qaeda spoke of things and ISIS is actually doing them planting a flag in Syria, in Iraq, creating the caliphate, uh, seizing cities. So definitely what we have been hearing now and seeing is that there are jihadi groups as far as Nigeria, as Libya, as Pakistan and Afghanistan, but more seriously in the Sinai, uh, in Egypt, uh, there have been reports lately that some of the jihadist groups uh, have declared that they have an allegiance to ISIS, which means that ISIS is growing internationally. Dr. Ferris, the name of the book is The Lost Spring, U.S. Policy in the Middle East and Catastrophes to Avoid, as always. It's a fascinating read. It's great having you on America's Forum this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And obviously, we could talk for hours about what's going on right now in the Middle East, but we pre appreciate everything you had to say this morning. And again, thanks so much for being with us. We're going to be right back, right here on America's Forum for a Thursday morning. Thanks so much for joining us.